Hello everyone, if you haven't noticed, this is a video in which I will be critiquing my own speech. Overall, I think I gave a pretty good speech and I was, you know, pretty average in my delivering of the speech. But there are a few things that I can obviously improve on. If you hear a little noise, it's my roommates over there. What you're gonna do, they're just some boys having fun. I'm not gonna tell them to be quiet, right? I wouldn't be a nice sweet mate if I did that. Yeah, boy! So I didn't... <coughs> so these are the things that I think I did pretty well. I kept my audience engaged and connected. I was like saying things and talking based on their reactions to what I said. And I think people were always like listening to what I was saying. Then I also think I had a nice flow of ideas. Like I didn't say like, so that is my item one. This is my item two. And I wasn't like very rigid. I, I kind of, you know, transitioned everything at least uh, kind of well. As I said, my speech was definitely honest and natural, which might or might not have been a result of laziness. <laughs> but still, it was a pretty, you know, not memorized or planned out speech, which is a good thing sometimes. I think I was pretty, you know, according to the book, this is a good thing, enthusiastic about my items. I was like, so this is a great story about my rock, guys. Okay, maybe not that enthusiastic, but you know I liked what I was talking about, I think. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I saw the video and that's what I thought. And last of all, I think I was pretty organized with my speech. I moved from items 1, 2, and 3. Well, it's kind of hard not to be organized since we had an outline. But anyways, I think I had, you know, the intro, items 1, 2, and 3, and a conclusion pretty successfully. <laughs> this is the... Im I'm out of breath. I don't know why, I just didn't breathe. It's not like running made me tired. Hey, Carlos. Yeah? What should I do with that frog that you killed? Should, is it staying in the sink? Or? What are you talking about? Oh. A frog? I, I, didn't, I didn't kill a frog or anything. Sorry, I, this is my... So, my number one thing that I want to improve, and I've always known this, is pronunciation. I, sometimes it's okay, and I just can't help it. It's like, like English for me is like, I need to... Shut up, phone. I need to like be really careful about my vowels. In Spanish it's more like ah, e, e, o, u. It's like straightforward, but in Spanish, in English, it's like a, e, i, o, u. My body movement could have been better. It's kind of weird when, it's kind of hard when you don't have a podium or anything. I should have just, you know, uh, looked for a position to keep my arms in a comfortable and natural way. I definitely uh, need to make more eye contact with my audience. I was looking down a lot at the, at the items when I think I look around. Uh, I need to like stay focused on the audience as I am right now, just looking at them very deeply and forever. <laughs> Another improvement that doesn't have to do with my like physical uh, uh, delivering of the speech, it's more like the speech itself. I spoke a lot about the items and why I had them and I just said that I fidget, that I like friends and that I like like cool things that I did in the past and that's not really who I am. I should have said more interesting things about, you know, who I am as a person, like, bigger things. I'm not sure, but I think I used a lot, I probably used a lot of vocal fillers, which are like, um, and uh, and s since I speak Spanish, I say eh sometimes, which is like um, but in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was not a bad first speech, but it was, there's, there are things that I can improve on, obviously, like, all other speeches that I will ever do, probably. I hope that I will like practice a lot and learn from my mistakes a lot so that I would be like a master at delivering speeches by the end of the semester. Thank you. Thanks. That's it. Bye.